Dale Jr. moves underneath Randy LaJoy, and he's going to bring Carl Edwards in the 99. Oh, Witherman went. Edwards gets into LaJoy. Goodbye, LaJoy. Back up into traffic. And Kenny Schrader goes for a long, long slide, missing the inside wall. Hold on to Schrader. Boy. Casey Mears and Ryan Newman did with a little fresher tires. Randy LaJoy, two-time champion and a winner here at Dayton in the Bush Series, but having a tough day here. Yeah, that, that, that looked like fluid coming out of the car, so I think something let go in the car is the way that appeared. Jeff gets into the 11 car, gets him loose. Gets the 9, knocked sideways by uh, the 77 car of uh, Quaffle, and that took Casey Kane in the 9 car for a ride. And, and that right there is why you hear our voice go up. My car on the bottom. Oh, Sachs just went, he went up the hill and got sucked around there by the 55 car of Derek Cope. And uh, Kurt had nowhere to go. Shamardy in a 27. That was absolute rear of that, that big pack. So the wall, right. Wow. That thing, the roof flaps came up, kept it on the ground. You saw the rear tires hopping up and down. But the rest of these guys were not so lucky. And those acres of pavement back there coming off turn two to the inside helped keep it on the ground. How many times in his career has Rusty been in the air on the backstretch here? Some guys, Gosh. some guys, Daytona is just not good to them. <laughs> won it with Cale Yarborough, Tiny Lund, they won't win it today. Right think, side of your screen. I think I saw a tire. It looked like a rubber came off of the left rear of uh, Ricky Rudd's car maybe, or somebody's car, I can't tell for sure which one. Looks like he definitely got in trouble. Looks like he almost corrected it, Daryl, and then it shot back up the racetrack, right in the middle of the racetrack, and that's where everyone else got involved. I, I think, Larry, I, I, I glimpsed the casing of the tire coming off. 14 just shoves up, comes right down in front of Leffler. 14 got into uh, Travis Quaffle in the 77, come down Leffler in the uh, 11 car, had nowhere to go. how it unfolded between turns three and four. Because something happened to Greg Biffle, the 16 car that triggered all this. I believe, watch it, see if it's Harvick's car. Oh no, it's uh, the 22 car. Scott Wimmer. Look at him just spinning around. He got up on his nose and come back down on his wheels. What started at Greg Biffle came down in the 10, or the 10 went up to, to Greg Biffle. They got together anyhow. The luckiest man there was uh, Rusty Wallace. Got a little tap, but kept on going. Now watch Wimmer. Over once, twice, three on his nose, four, wham. Huge. So initial contact, the 10 and the 16, right there. Looked like Biffle in the 16 actually came down in the Scott Riggs on, in the 10. And Darrell, when you're flipping like that, it probably seems like eternity, don't it? Oh, listen, I, I, I can't tell you what it does to you. You just pray that when you stop that you can remember what happened. I think Scott Wimmer will remember this one for a long time. Eternity at the end of the day for the 500. And we got trouble already on the restart here. Mike Skinner in the 23, Travis Quaffle in the 77, and they're oh. spinning out through the grass. Caution is out again. John Andretti just piled into Mike Skinner hard. How in the world did that happen? Just the All most of a sudden, recently. He, he had problems right there going up through the corner and hits the wall, outside wall, and really hard with the right side of the car. B, can't really tell from here what happened, Chris, but that was a hard lick he just got through taking. And uh, out of the yeah, we're down here in the, coming off turn four. When I looked up, he uh, may have either gotten the air taken off his spoiler or got his spoiler taken off by the four car. I'm not sure which. I can't, that angle, I can't tell. That's Mike Wallace in the four. Getting to the, uh, we're well past the halfway point. I think oh, it's trouble down in turn. another transition. That's Casey Kane Casey in the Kane. nine. Caution is out. Kane has tagged the wall and hard. He may have he may have got a little help, but it could have been a tire. What do you think, Steve? Oh, yeah, there was smoke, all right. My that my. was a hard lick. It Very. really was, and uh, Boy Jr. just tried to move up a little too quickly and caught the back of Vickers' car. Uh, oh, the 17 car. Matt Kenseth. Hopey. 
38's been off the pace just a little bit. Um, that doesn't mean you run over him, though. And he was up at the front of the pack, so you see all the cars coming toward him. There's where Carl Edwards got his damage on the left front. Yeah, actually, Tony did a good job of keeping from getting into the 38 car. Watch That's Jeff Gordon, the 24 car here. And Jeff Burton in the 31, he gets into the left rear of Jeff Gordon because Jeff Gordon was trying to slow down to keep from getting yeah. in the back of Elliott Sadler. Burton, Burton, 9 of Ken Schrader. Ooh. See Sterling Marlin in the 40 car. Could could Leffler have been slowing to hey, enter I, the I, pit, Darrell? I think he was trying to get on pit road. I, I think. He's lost a bunch of speed, and he's been getting slower and slower. And I think he may have been experiencing some sort of a, maybe a tire problem. Ten here at turn four. Maybe just comes around with him. Uh, looks like the car was just real free. He does, he does have a right front down. I'm not sure if it was caused, if it was before or after the spin. But then the, this is not the bad news. The worst news is he tears a whole right front fender off the thing getting the pit road. Stay in here. Stay up. Stay up. Stay up. still in the throttle when that thing broke yeah she just started around i mean it was way way too loose but you know you heard in our interview with joe nema check is these guys they're on the edge because this is a race setup look and look and look and yeah there's definitely fluid coming out of that car yeah. getting in the points bobby labani's not even in the top 35 right now well it's casey mirrors that got loose first i think the really started a little further up with those guys reacting to what they saw. For Bobby Labonte, though, who has won here six times and that Joe Gibbs number 18, it is a second straight week of frustration. Scott Riggs may have got in the back of He Casey got into Harris. the back of Casey Kane and turned him right there, and here they go. But again, I believe, some, I believe Casey may have lifted because of what happened in front of him. Jeff Gordon doesn't make really, really hard contact. All he does make contact. Dave Blaney squeaked through. There's Matt. There was some contact uh, with the 41 and, and a couple other guys, and, and then he got uh, you know turned sideways. And once that happened, they just it just caused a big wreck. And I thought I was going to get get through there. I uh, saw smoke, but then uh, they all turned down in front of me. So uh, unfortunately, a, a, a short day for the Dupont Chevrolet and a lot of other guys. Uh, I'd like to see a few more angles and go back. NASCAR's newest big star. And he did Whoa. it. Oh, Carl Edwards goes around. Oh. Sticker tires. Whoa. That was almost, that's, that's that chain reaction thing. It isn't over yet. Here we oh. go. Jason Leffler, an 11 car, hits the wall hard in turn two. Caution will be and out. Somebody got up on top of him. Yeah, Hermes. Some guys are letting up. Some guys aren't. Michael gets turned. Jimmy Spencer into the 11. And here comes. Nowhere for Hermie Sadler Hermie. and a 66 to go. What happened here is he got into uh, Nemechek, spins Nemechek, and it cuts down the five's right rear tire. Oh. And he doesn't know it until he gets over to turn two. Casey Mears in the 41 just had nowhere to go. A lot of parts flying out from that 41 car. Then at turn two, Kyle Busch loses control after that contact with Nemechek. But I believe you're right, D.W. I believe he had a tire that was going down or cut down by the 01 car. Right. Just loses it going down into turn one. Good thing we got those soft walls. Man, they make a difference. That's. But this will be the first hard luck that Mike Bliss, the zero car, has really had. Came into this race 13th in points, only 15 out of the top 10. I mean, Bliss was around by the yeah. time Kyle Busch got all that front end damage running into him. But what is not clear in the, the right. corner, Darrell, let's see. It might have already been cut. Nah, I think he got cut oh, right there. He's there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but Ouch. you're right, DW. That's all they worked on Friday. He ran 100 and Matt goes up the hill just a little bit. Ricky just gets in the throttle and just gets in the back of him. Well, Ricky almost got about the top four there. Now, we heard one driver say earlier, and, and think everything's clean there, clean. Ooh, couldn't tell. Did the 32 get in the back of him? I think so. That's what it looked like. Rusty sneaks through with minimal damage. So does Jeff Gordon. I think Michael Waltrip got hit. Kurt Busch has got damage, but not a lot, I don't think. 
Mike Wallace, number four, right at the end. Tipped into the wall. You can almost see the damage on the left front of the 32 car. That's pretty much, I think, the telltale sign. How many weeks in a row Bobby Labonte gets into a wreck not of his making? Here we are again. At Bristol particularly. I mean, I've seen the guy be running a great race here. And you see Jimmy Johnson. He gets down under, under uh, Jeff Burton, and he just washes up into him. And this right here, just right up in front of, ah. I'm watching nose lick. to nose. Loose. He comes down here, and boy, Rusty has no ideas there, I don't think. Uh, I'm sure Tony's saying, hey, dude, I'm on the lead lap. Scott Wimmer's problem was, oh, Jeff Green goes for a spin, exiting turn four. Caution is out. The other thing I know, these cars again, there's Carl Edwards getting spun around. Now, I don't know if the 09 had any effect on that or whatever, but uh, there he is in the picture as well. Oh, he gets up on the curb. What's going on? I tell you, when you have low air, you hit the curb, uh, more, more likely you just can't get the thing to turn because it sticks. Ooh, yeah. I think his old buddy Jeff Green, another Owensboro native, and Michael, who have had run-ins before at Rockingham in a bush race. That's the You'll 16. see Bethel, he's up on the outside and the right rear tire's down. He comes around, hadn't hit anything yet, scrapes the nose, but then it goes backwards right into the 25 who doesn't have any place to go and look at Bobby Labonte. 18 car just barely gets by. There you see Ricky Rudd in the 21, the motorcraft car. We talked about him. That's a see things start to back up. The yeah. nine, the zero, the 17. Russell's Newman on the real brakes. sideways up out of the groove there. And then here comes Elliot and, uh, and Sterling. And then right after that, Elliot and Sterling are having a whale of a conversation down the back straightaway. He's here all by himself up out of the groove. Of course, he's going to pick up a lot of rubber and dirt. But I think as he went by, Right after this, I, I think that right rear tire could be down. Well, Brian Bickers in the 25 was almost a victim again. Uh, buddy, you want to meet back in Owensboro? Maybe we'll get some barbecue oh, when we get home. Car. He's the car that brought out the caution. So right rear tire down again, and around he goes. And I got to believe more likely he's probably made contact with somebody. And uh, that you can't give up and look at oh, him. Oh, no, no. Gordon's left side tires look like they were right against the curbing. They're I've seen all weekend long, these cup cars do not like to get high in entering the turn. They seem to like to enter low and slip up, but they don't like going in on the outside like that, that high. Darrell, the minute he's turned that thing down into turn three, you can see the back end come out. Oh. He may have got a little help for Robbie Gordon in the seven car. Looked like he was a little free anyhow, and then, uh, of course, Robbie in the throttle. What we see over there is, and it is hard to tell from just watching it, is guys are having to lift a little bit because they get to pushing off that turn. When they do, if somebody's right up on your back bumper, they just can't slow down that quickly. Carl Edwards and Robbie Gordon just squeaked through. And, you know, you can look at it, and you can see it's off turn two over there. Uh, you can see him up high. He just got loose there. He's all by himself. Backs it in the fence. Parts flying. Springs coming out. And he was having a decent run. He was just one lap down, running up in the top 22, 23 cars. He has climbed out okay. I, I think something happened to the engine in that car because you see, see smoke coming out of it before he crashes. How about it there, Steve? Hey, DW, so far all Casey Kane has said is something broke. Car jet definitely just came around with it. Yeah, I think you, there's smoke coming out of it before it ever comes around, and there's a pretty good trail of oil down to where he is. Caution for some cars that were not driving very good. Like Sterling Marlin in the 40 car got in the back of yeah, Jason Yeah, so Leopard. did uh, Travis Popple. He hit the outside wall there. Show you why we're under caution. Oh, man, this hurts. Look at that. Oh, golly gee, that car hit. Just lost a right front tire. Just tire went down, going off in the corner. Matt Kenseth was the sixth place car. Whoa, it looks like Jimmy Johnson. I don't know, did he hit Tony? And Rusty Wallace, nowhere to go. Ricky Rudd, and it just stacks up from there. 
at least a five car. Looked uh, like Travis Quaffle in the 77 rolled out of the throttle. Mike Bliss in the zero got into the back of him. And, of course, the chain reaction from there. Kenny Schrader in the 49. Scott Wimmer in the 22 having a good run. And, uh, and add Clint Boyer a little bit. Last time we had everybody. Whoa, right I've got the trouble right there. Now Mike Wallace is around right there. Along with Matt Kins is also. And this will take some people out of the race, no doubt, Mike. And, Jeff, uh, that was right at the same point in the pack. Scott Riggs got turned up to the high side. And look how many cars pile in. I'm seeing 11 cars here on the backstretch. This is 11 cars. I don't think that we're involved. Oh, Jimmy Johnson up into Mike Wallace. Got into the 40. The 48 got into Mike Wallace, and uh, that that's all it took. It was on from there. Riggs was just in the wrong place. He was. I, I thought that he and Junior had. Uh, I thought that contact between he and Junior may have had something, but what it really didn't, other than it pushed him up there where he could get in it. <laughs> Half the field has crashed in turn one at Talladega. We'll take a further look at it after this. Uh, looks to me like I'm not sure who the outside we just got together. I mean, uh, unfortunately, as much as I hate to say it, it's uh, best I could tell. Um, outside got together and uh, spun and caused a heck of a big wreck. So, Did you get hit from behind? Uh, well, uh, you don't spin out in the middle of the straightaway, so I mean, I don't know. We got turned. We somehow. Do you have to make your own viewpoint there? I mean, I, I was looking out at the front of the car, and next thing I knew, I was looking at the grandstands. The car he got loose, had to get out of the front. I thought that was. Oh, there you go again. Yeah, True exit, Junior. 48, 8. Johnson hard into the wall. And caution is out. Now that's before the leader gets the white flag. So this race is not over. It comes to the 38. He gets forces everybody up like Man. either Truex got in the back of Junior or maybe someone got in the back of Truex I think they just had the lift over there and somebody ran in the back of somebody Harry I thought I saw Kevin Harvick in the middle lane get forced over into Dale Junior at the outside Kurt gets up there he's trying to stay off for Rusty and the back end just got around on him Jeff Green, the reverse of what brought out the lap seven caution flag. And poor Kurt Busch. Almost again. Almost got it again. I think he got a, quite a bit of damage, Kurt Busch did. That's going into three. It's up in the middle of turns three and four. He ran up on the back of Kyle, got on the brakes, shot him in the wall. So y'all go ahead and race each other. Walmart is around. Oh, man, how'd he do that? I think he just turned it to the bottom too quick coming off the corner. Caution is out. Go, Buck. Get your gear. Go, 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 go. Harvey gets under Rusty. Oh, and Rusty comes down. I don't know if he got bumped from behind. It started ahead of them. Carl Edwards bounced off the wall. Joe Nemechek got into him, and then the re these three cars came into it. Tire, and you can see there the tire goes down. The 09 Johnny Sauter into the fence. Uh, the Bill, he has to woe up. The 77 was down underneath uh, Jimmy Johnson and just got into him, spun around. Let's see how hard he hits. Pretty darn hard. A lot of damage to that right front. That was definitely the 45 car, Kyle Petty. Yeah. Because they've been racing hard. And around goes Wallace. Well, spin facing the right way. He, he, just, uh, he just gassed her up a little too early. And around the back end came. Uh, that can happen to you real easily in that turn, especially with a tight car. 
He just seems it in turn three a little too hard. He gets up against the wall, gets all that debris on his tires, and there's no control in the car. He just spin it around. He just gets loose uh, in the three and four down here, and the thing comes around with him. Just barely touched the wall, no harm. See Hermie there in the 66 car. He blows the engine, puts some fluid down. There goes Tony and the leader right by. Very reminiscent of what happened to Casey Kane at Dover last year when an engine blew and he got in the oil. He Turn four. Saw Robbie Gordon in the seven car down on the bottom of the racetrack. Dale Jarrett in the 88. They just came together on the exit of the corner. Now, Vickers turns it to the bottom, he's but he a, can't get by. He can't get on. He just can't get enough nose under him without getting into him. Oh, oh he did turns get him. He wins him and Vickers wins. He did. Vickers is beating him across the line just by a car man. Mike Bliss did a whale of a job. Did we make it? Did we make it? No, Mike, you didn't make it. Here we come. Somebody gets uh, loose back in here. Yikes. Joe Nemechek in the 01 car. I Was it from contact from Stewart? Uh, somebody got into the back of somebody. We've got to look at it again. Somebody poked somebody coming out of four right there and turned them. Well, either Nemechek got loose and lost his momentum or... You know, that just looks like Tony got in the back yeah. of Joe. I don't see Joe's car moving much. Uh, I don't see anything going on there. Look at it. You know, we gotta, you yeah. got to continue to look at it because every time you look at it, you're going to see something different. When you got this many cars involved, you got to kind of keep looking at it until you can pinpoint. If you compare the position of Nemechek's car to Harvick's car on the racetrack, there might have been a time when Joe's car had a little wiggle and then got there Oh, go. there they go. Newman around. And Rusty up in the wall with him. The four coming. Keep it up there if you can. Air clear. The two Penske racing south. What, it's part of the unpredictability that we keep talking about. As you see, he goes in there high. He gets a little bit loose. And when you get up that high, there's not a lot of work down there, but there's not any grip when you get that high. I talked to his crew chief this morning, Kevin Bowen. Just came around with him over there, that unpredictable turn too. This the, the one and two end of the racetrack down here, the drivers is just driving them. I think Skinner blew up in front of those guys and uh, that's what started that whole thing. And of course everyone's on fresh tires. They're Round it went. Here's Steve. Mike Elliott Sadler said right after that, he goes, this car is just way too loose off, and we see the result right there. And he's lucky he did not get into that outside wall off turn four, and no one got into the back of him. I think. I, I, he, when he went back out on the track, uh, Mike, I could tell he was having a hard time trying to even just keep up to what minimum speed would have been. The car didn't look like it was driving worth a flip. Rudd goes in and gets on the apron just a tad and brushes the left rear corner. Boy, look at Mark Martin and Kent that they all in. Here comes Sterling down Pitt Road. Just a slight brush by Ricky Rudd in, into a Wimmer. We saw Truex get a little bit loose. He shot up into the 41, and here comes Sterling by, and that was That was hard. Double trouble for Chip Ganassi's team tonight. Almost made it by. 41 was just going down the hill. Not anything he could do. He'd already been into the wall and he didn't have much control of the car. Watch this. This just, ah oh man. Sterling didn't even know what it was hitting him, I bet. Well, Carl Edwards in the 99 almost was caught up in this wreck. Jamie McMurray goes around his He's got that, I spun out in the second turn look. He was right in front of Scott Weber. And big evasive action. Bobby just got back on the lead lap. He goes into turn three there. Was that true X? Yes, it was. In the one car. Yes. True X got the 41 car earlier. I'm not so sure if he got into seven. 
It almost looked like the seven just kind of did a D die though, but we'll have to get. Oh, I mean, it, 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 the picture tells a story right Man, there. He just jacked him up. And of course, nowhere for Matt Kenseth in the 17 to go. Well, that was ugly. Kenseth down to the bottom. Terry. Well, now he's about to be caught. Oh, trouble! Brian Victor's got in the back of one car, turned it sideways. Jeff Gordon's in it. Bill Carl Elliott. Martin, the six. Bill Elliott was the car that Vickers got into. Kevin Harvick in the 29. And the rest of the field. Mark Martin and Kevin Harvick torn up. They're just sailing along. You see the car wobble? Around she goes. And Jimmy Johnson almost T-boned him as Nemechek slid down the track. I was mistaken. A little Oops. bit of help from the 20, Tony Stewart. Doesn't take much help at this place. flies back out in the racetrack. It's almost like it uh, when he hit that inside wall, there's another white car back against the wall down there. Uh, that was Kevin LePage, I believe. So he owes Terry a little thank you here. Watch this. Around she comes, and if Terry's not there, up she goes. Both guys did an incredible job of saving their cars, but Larry, uh, Larry what that tells me is they're just not going that fast through the center of that corner to be able to slow them down and save them that way. I'm going to tell you what, lucky Terry Labonte did not snap. Blaney, bam. Oh, he was coming Oh, down. yeah, there, yeah. There, he, was. there had to be a reason Blaney just ran into him, but where'd Kyle come from? You know, I bet Kyle got hit in the back end by something. I believe you're right. He maybe checked up because he saw what was going on. Kyle Petty in the 45 and got hit from behind, possibly. Yep. When we see whose grill is all beat in, we'll know. See, there comes Kyle across after... Spinning, I didn't see another car near him, but. Oh, yeah. All by himself. Yes, sir. He's he got loose. Spins that bad boy right out. And locking it up is likely what cut down the tire. Not, right. not the spin, not spinning it. In race, there's Travis Quaffle. We'll see LePage. Oh, man. Oh. That almost had brake trouble written on it. No the way he was or tire down or something. Uh, yeah, yeah, something, uh, something let go because he was down on the apron or down in the grass getting there, and that the, that just has a look of something happening to the brakes. Actually, you saw the dirt. He got way down, way inside the uh, alligator's teeth or quarter. Here, second points had the brake issue. Elliot Sadler third coming in here back in 21st. With the oh, Ryan Newman. Newman has a tire problem that will bring a caution out. I'm about sure. Caution is out with six to go. Left front. Carl Edwards did not need that. Brian Vickers did not need that. And you watch Jeff Gordon's team go to work in his number 24 car. Brian Vickers spinning down pit road. Brian Vickers. And he impacts the barriers at the head end of pit road. Man, that's a big fire right there. That's oil, oil fire. I saw that out of Ryan Newman's car here a year or so ago. Uh, Battling Mike Bliss. Oh, he and Bliss get together. And that did cut his right that rear down. That probably did cut the tire down. Right. Remember, these tires do not run that inner liner. When you cut one down, you're on the rim. Yep. That's exactly what happened. We'll see from another angle now. It looks like sort right of. there and inside him is Carl Edwards in the 99. And so on and so on and so on. And who got the worst of it? The zero. Mike Bliss. Had him well, turned around. Yeah, yeah, I think that's... Had to bet for that, he may have gone head on. He drive Carl Edwards into it. There's the first hit. Who's that sliding into the inside was P.J. Jones into Kyle Petty. And Brian the 33. Zimmo. Yeah, and the 33. Yeah. Just drove him right into it. It's down at turn seven right here. Jimmy's underneath the Dale Jarrett. Coming off the corner, they make contact, make contact, more contact. I don't 
don't think Dale was real happy with uh, Jimmy Johnson trying to force his way by. Running 20th here and come home in the top five. Whoa. Yeah. That'll get you a uh, that'll get you a meeting over at the 31 truck. Got more cars spinning. Hand out the window down the back stretch. I don't think he was saying I'm oh, 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 trouble. We're oh, working oh. in the wall. Uh, Several cars involved. Oh, 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 Jr. gets banged up. I'm not sure somebody was trying to step down and get pit lane. Casey Mears. Bottom of the body. Schrader's in the grass. Several cars down pit road. I think somebody was trying to come to the pits, BP, and he like a guy, but if that guy happens to be fast tonight, <laughs> you'll go ahead and draft with him. He means oh, oh, the oh, Michael, Michael. Wall trip spins, hits the Owen of Nemechek, then catches Biffle, the championship leader. Biffle has significant damage, and they're wrecking behind them, too. Morris said. Morris said he's going to need a set of tires. Yeah. yeah. Morris. Morris was wet. He started back in turn four. Now, that, that's the strangest thing I've seen all night. You know, Boris will do anything to get on TV. <laughs> this must have started way back in turn four somehow. Yeah. 31 yeah. came down on uh, Carl yeah, Edwards Carl in the 99. Edwards. And that uh, Kevin Harvick was right in the middle of it. And there's Bush going through the grass. And there's a 22 car on the inside of Jeff Gordon. When Mike Wallace just squeezes by. Was that Mike Wallace or was that Mayfield? No, I thought it was Mike. Could have been Mayfield. I don't think Elliot Sadler hit anything. No. That was weird. Keep your eye on the right front. You really didn't see anything happen, but it definitely went down. When a car shoots up the racetrack like that. Because of a tire. Wow. That's the safer barrier. The 42 gets yeah. in the back of him. Yeah, but you know what? The nine got out of the gas there. Yeah. I don't know what happened. If he if he came up on Bobby Labonte, whatever, but you could see Casey got out of the gas, and Jamie McMurray was in the gas and caught him by surprise. When that back car comes closes in that suddenly. Hang on. Wow. Man, oh man. That's a shot right there. Folks, I can't tell you they have come, they have come how again. hard that is. That's in progress. Now, right in the center. Let's uh, go on board with the 11. Jason Leffler and see if we can see anything. Well, there's Mike Bliss there on the inside. That's what happened. Yep, just got it. NASCAR really fr frowns upon, upon that. And yeah, but he just dumped them. Yeah. Wow. You know, you can't you can't touch a car going into the corner. I'm saying that'd be Robbie number. Gordon. Robbie actually lost yep. the car. Yep, I did. mean, he didn't. That wasn't yep. intentional. Robbie went in. He lost the car. He saved the car. Unfortunately, Mike was right there. Yep. And on the last caution flight, Mark Martin, the six car, gets in the back of Elliott Sadler. And wow. The back end is gone from this 38 car. I think we got a little help. At the very top of the screen, we see Jeff, we see Mike Wallace come off the corner. Jeff Gordon right behind him. Nice move by Wimmer. I don't think Wallace. Or Elliot Sadler, I guess. Ooh, Nemechek. Yeah, Nemechek. Goes around. Ooh, almost in the inside wall. Oh, just made a little contact with the 97 car. As he said, enough to get him out of shape. Man, look at that. He didn't hit anything. That is a great save. That is unbelievable what that is. Well, we got a new hero. Yeah, Casey Mears. That's, say. <laughs> That's what Rusty tried to do yesterday, yesterday in <laughs> qualifying, but failed. Casey Mears, the race leader, did not pit. And I don't expect him oh, to be there. Trouble, oh, Trouble Jr. Man. hard in the inside wall. Back across oh. the racetrack. Got Truex. Hits his teammate, Truex. And See, exactly. Cars go, then they slow down, and the cars in the back didn't see the guys up ahead slowing down and start running into each other.
guess Kurt Busch is, I don't know. Kurt Busch, the 97 car was around the 10. I don't know if he was the one that Scott was talking about was underneath him or not. This will give us a good indication. When a, when a car stops turning like that and shoots up the racetrack, that's a, that's a tire going down. He's got a mark on his bumper. Yep. Uh -huh. Like Junior gets in the back of 88 down in the carousel. Oh boy. That's a hard hit. Mm, that was a hard hit. Smart thing to do. There we see brake rotor pieces. You're right. The rotor is broken. Pieces are flying around before he ever gets to the wall. Yeah, as soon as he hit the brakes, he was at the breaking point. So as soon as he hit the brakes, that thing exploded. I'm not sure pack here. And yep, he gets turned by uh, Casey Kane. That is a wild ride. Well, that's a hit. Take a ride with Michael yeah, as want, this happens. You want to go road course racing at the Glen? Know, all these guys were bunched up, and, but it just doesn't take much. No, I think that was just. No, that was Ron contact. Fellows making yeah. contact, and that's not in. Point six and seven. That's up in the uh, interloop. 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 And Bush just drove straight in. Use a big shot in the arm, and a win would do that, Bill. Mike Bliss, a zero car, left, left rear, rear tire yeah. is flat. Second one. What's going on with this? And that's disappointing for Bliss, as we've talked about his best career starting spot today. Six. Well, he goes. That will probably bring out the car. And it does. You're right, Wally. But it's just hard to turn a car. He's Boy. still going 150 miles per hour here. It's just Watch hard to it. turn a car. Yep. Watch this. Listen. They want this. Just hold it. Then you're clear. One inside. Now the car goes around. Earnhardt Jr. gets through. Ricky Rudd. Almost got through. Almost got through. Scott Wimmer, the lucky dog. Three there, and he's got left rear flat. Popple's got yeah. nowhere to go. Goes in the corner, direct in front of the 17 car. And all of a sudden, the well, right front tire goes flat. Let's see if we can see what happens here. Well, this started pretty early. It looked like Harvick got into Casey Kane. Tell you what, and Harvick had a good fight getting off that corner. And never see Earnhardt Jr. going around. And the four-car Mike Wallace made contact with the outside retaining wall. Huh? Comes He's off the corner and already the 45 car of Kyle Petty gets in the back of him and doesn't take much. Around he goes. And Nemechek just barely gets by, as does McMurray in the 42. Saved it. He may get turned again. The eight car might have Usually putting a turn into the wall to the right. Rick gets underneath Rusty. Almost takes Rusty out, but he turns the car down and takes himself out. And that was Carl Edwards who damaged that left front on the 88 car. And just prior to that, Rusty had slid up the track, lost his spot, and was getting freight trips. And Mike Wallace. Two cars that were really trying to stay in front of the leader, Matt Kenseth, to get their lap back. And Wobble tried his best not to spin out Mike Wallace. And sp coming back is looking fine now but the 12 car gets in the back of the 88 up the hill he goes into the outside retaining wall usually lose rear traction when the rear tires have pulled off the racetrack you do evidently that crash oh, oh he gets in the 12 oh would that be payback i guess that's a payback oh, oh kevin harvick. harvick oh see now what that's what happens when you pay pay a guy back sometimes you take out some other guys that shouldn't be involved in it. Four. Let's see. Carl Edwards, 99 car, goes in on the back and runs in the back of 43. And Bliss almost runs in the back of 99. But Jeff Green is the loser. Keep back there. Uh oh. Carl Edwards. Didn't he do that earlier? Yeah. He got the 43 car, didn't he? The Jeff other Green. petty car. Yep. 
left rear is flat. But boy, he did a good job keeping up that wall. And if he's a little bit lucky, that could too. Because oh, oh, it looked man. like right there he's going to hit the wall with the nose and somehow kept it off. Man, those are some good seats right there. Spot that Mike Bliss spun. Must be an ice patch out there, don't you? Yeah, nice <laughs> the 10 car on the in, on Sterling Marlin on the inside. Some contact between Sterling. Oh, takes Ro Robbie Gordon with yep. him. Looks like Jeff Burton also in the wall. Wasn't that Jeff Burton? Looked like it. You see Robbie Gordon diving underneath uh, Sterling Marlin in the 40 car, and Robbie slides up the racetrack and. Right into Sterling. Ouch. He hit pretty good. Se yeah. Second next talk up series start for Stremi, who jumps into this series full time next year. 18 get in the back of the 22 after 22 just lost it. Scott Wimber got behind in the steering off turn two and never <laughs> could get it corral, could he? <laughs> Tony Raines in the 37 yes. car that DJ was trying to get on the inside of. Dave Blaney in the 07. Oh, that, I mean, I did, I did take a pop in the right rear, and he did gets into Tony. And he slides up and gets into the 21. Now the 42 goes by. Do you think Tony Raines got into this? End of the 42. That's what they said on the radio. That will be that. Would... There's no grip on the racetrack right now. The tire temperatures are, are cold. The tire pressures are down. So it is just like driving on ice until you get some heat in these tires and you get your pressures up. It's a hard place to drive, especially at the start of the race. On board with Jeff Burton as he goes down the corner. Damage yeah, on his sure car. Right there is with Spencer. Yeah. Now he's got damage on the right front. They may have to come in. They may have to come in and repair that because of that contact. Bush is going to slide up into him, and that's exactly what happened. That is a hard hit. Contact with a nine card to turn the nine around. Watch this under the caution. Nine is trying. Kyle Bush, Mike Wallace, and Kyle Bush spun himself out trying to keep off the four car. Because that's all he needed was hit another yeah. car and spin him out. Yeah. Oh, he did it. That was lucky and good yeah. to stay off the wall and those tires. Probably more lucky than good. Side, Nima check on the outside. Bliss slides up the race check, and I think he just may have got into Nima check just a little bit. Now down the back stretch. Michael turned the. Wow, that was pretty gutsy. It's like a bullfighter. Tony about to run over the helmet. I'm sure he doesn't. Yep, yeah, he, he just... was the second and last car there, so he didn't get anybody with him. I'll tell you what, though, you come, this place here, you can hit that inside wall so hard. So an early caution here at Dover. Stuart, but he was, he was just about to get lapped. Oh, oh, and Mike Wallace, that four car, just barely avoids being hit by the zero. Bliss just got loose, getting down into the corner, and he he saved the car, but down right at us. It's like this, the 42 and 37 looks like made contact as they go down in turn three. The 37 being Tony Reigns, 42 Jamie McMurray. Boy, he was just high already. Oh, I guess contact behind with Jeff Burton. Touched in the left rear by Burton and around he goes. We have some slight cosmetic damage with the crash. Trouble in turn one. Oh, car on its roof. Michael Waltrip. Mark Martin is in it. One of the championship contenders. Elliot Sadler, the pulse at a 38. Heavy damage. 
Okay, you see Mark Martin there. And, oh, it looks like uh, Elliot Sadler got turned by, the by Jimmy Johnson. Yeah, it looked like he got hit by the 48 car getting down the corner. And, and Michael went over twice. Look at the rear end hanging out of Michael yeah. Waltrip's car. And, and like I said, he's just looks like these cars are glued, but it right. just takes somebody to touch one of these bumpers in the wrong way, especially when you're in the corner. You can do it on the straightaway as long as your steering wheel is straight, but it doesn't take a whole lot to get him sideways. Really is a tight rope when you're racing here. I mean, you, you've got to respect everybody and you're so tight all the time. If a guy just if the guy slips a little bit and gets out of the throttle, you've got somebody that's right on your bumper. So it doesn't take much for somebody to get into you. Just lost it off turn two straight away. There are a few more fortunate guys out there. Yeah. Jeff Green, the 43 car, not so fortunate. Martin Truex looks like he has fender damage yep. in that one car. Yes, he does. There's That's Mayfield not, way, yeah. way down there. Comes back on the racetrack. He cleared it. It's the shocks here, but we expect to see a new rule before we race. Oh, Man, there's been a lot of cars getting on there. Well, let's see. There we see the 41 car. Looks like he's going to get bumped from behind by the 12. Ryan Newman in the 12. Rigs hard into the wall. <laughs> and it gets worse. Yes. But see how these cars are turning? You can't, you can't bump draft somebody when the car is turning. Once more. There's Biffle in the middle of it. Then he comes down off the wall. I think would have cleared it, but he kind of got sandwiched. But you're racing such tight quarters that it's just being at the wrong place at the wrong time. From the flag stand. And, and it's, it's hard to give an inch on these deals. Another multi-car rack here at Talladega brings out the caution. Jamie McMurray is scored as the race leader. Tough day for the chasers. There you see him. Out front. That's where you want to be. Unless and this there it happens. goes. You can tell right away the car loses the right front tire. And he slows and is able to make it on the pit road the first time by. So there he is, the 49 car. And when those tires go flat, you just instantly lose control. And there's the wall. 20 cars on the lead lap. Here. And how strong that 88 is, we're finally going to find out. Oh, oh, crash! Kyle Petty! Hard crash. We stay green. I don't know if there was even really much contact when it looks like Junior got up into uh, Brandon, but then they all pile in here. And Jarrett, what a great job he does. Look at Ryan Newman yeah, did just make contact, make contact yeah. with that left front fender. Ryan Newman, fourth in the chase. Been a disappointing season for Bobby Labonte. Disappointing day. Dave Blaney is a lucky dog. I tried to get as close to Bobby Labonte as I could come up before. And when those two cars came together, it just took every bit of air off my car that was there. And it just went straight in the wall. And, uh, you know, the speeds are really fast out there, obviously. And it's very, very difficult to pass. So, you know, we got in the wall. We'll try to fix it, get back out there. But not going to be a very good night for the DuPont Chevrolet. Unfortunately, it was awesome right before that. Thank you. On the right. Tire goes down and hard. 
to the wall. That's what Dale Earnhardt Jr. was talking about. At least when his right front tire exploded, it did it on this straightaway. Well, he was down on the bottom of the racetrack, so he went all the way up the track. And that's where you hit the, the wall the hardest. We talked about Junior doing it right on the straight, almost on the straightaway. There you see him going through the trial wall. Wow. Almost the same spot that Junior at the wall, but now back in the wall again. The air pressure gauge on the right rear tire. It was losing oh, air. Oh, Stewart. Tony Stewart into the wall. Cuts a right rear tire. He blew a right rear tire going into turn three. The championship leader has brought out the caution at Charlotte. Sure. He, Stremme was all the way down at the bottom of the, of the corner, and for a tire blow like that, he went all the way up the track and got one heck of a run before he hit the wall. And got it turned at a, at a very sharp angle to hit the wall. He was one of the nine guys that did not pit on lap 217. And I'll tell you, if it wasn't for the safer back on restarts. Oh, oh that Sandler spins! Has led 112 laps, backs it into the wall, almost exactly what happened to Tony Stewart. Come on, come on, come on. Bliss yeah. gets a piece of it. There's Bliss there in the in the zero car. Looks like Scott Riggs is gonna get into him. You gotta go all the way to see one like this. Unbelievable. Okay, there far. At the very top, we see the right front tire go flat on the 10 car, and in that wall he goes. Russ air pressure that NASCAR mandates in the cars. Whoa, whoa, we got whoa, whoa, car up, whoa, whoa. Blowing up behind you. Blowing up behind you. Jamie McMurray, Michael oh, Bowen, they got Dale, Dale Jarrett. Got in it. Carl Edwards slides by. Oh man. Michael had such a great run yeah. going. Something Good. happened to Robbie Gordon. Just got busy back there. Yeah, he did. What else to say? Jimmy's Johnny saw it with a 09 car. Past T and the 25 of Vickers as they battle off turn two. Stewart is right behind him. Mark says, I gotta go. He goes to the corner, gets in the back of Mike Wallace, spins about, brings out the caution flag, and saves himself a lap for Mike. There's the original contact. Actually, Michael kept Mike Wallace from spinning totally out. A 20 car. Oh, Bliss Whoa. gets into the 10 oh, car, hits Sterling. Sterling, and throws, literally, Sterling into the 21 car. That just... There he goes. And Michael goes around and backs it into the wall. The 08 car of Derek Cope comes down, and the 07 gets on the inside of him. Cope, I don't guess, realized that the 07 was on the inside. He had a car on the outside. See what happened here. Junior goes in the corner, and from what we heard on the radio, the 29, yes, just touches him in the rear, and around goes the 8. Unfortunately, the 38 comes along and runs into the 88. So both the 8's cars involved. Marty? Well, BB, they've tried wedge and track bar to loosen up Jimmy Johnson's car. Looks like the 43 is going to get turned by the 42, Jamie McMurray. Look at all the smoke. He nails that gas, and it is the... So those guys in the back, what chance do they have? They can't see anything. He just ran up on the back of the 77. About that time, Jeff Green ran up on the back of him. <laughs> Michael gets turned by the 99, Carl Edwards. That's the second time today Michael's been helped into the wall. 31 car up high and just got in the back of Rusty and turned him around. Mm, that's pretty good contact, too. Says he goes up the hill, just barely touches the left rear of the 66. And I guess Rusty's going to come along and run into the 66, would be my guess. Nowhere to go. I guess. Boy, third straight week, Rusty Wallace has had trouble. The previous two have been late in the race. This is early. Only Can't help on that one. No, me either. Mark Martin, we saw Mark Martin going in the corner right behind the 07. And early in the race, we thought Skinner might have been a... Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Defending series champion. Each other. They just run out of room. It looks like the 39 car might have made contact with Scott Wimmer, the 22 car, as he tried to get down into turn three. And to get off the 22, he had to veer back to the right. And just never to catch up. Well, he had three cars underneath him. I don't <laughs> think he realized he had three cars below him. And we want to go on that one. He just slid up. You're already loose here. Slide up in front of a car. That takes the air off your spoiler like uh, we were talking about earlier on the Home Depot virtual garage. He just lost traction, and now he's doing everything he can just to hang on to it. That was a nice job by Earnhardt. It was. He did a good job because, you, not like I said, Biffle came back and forth a bunch of times. An inexperienced driver in Earnhardt's position. Lost it. Just around he goes. Right in the middle of it all. Pit road is still closed. On board with we can nope. They've already got it going there. I guess it was Spencer, Schrader, and Burton that were three wide, and all this behind them was just the uh, accordion effect. <laughs> Here we go. There's Schrader down on the bottom. There's just, just like you see, you can't go three wide in a turn three. Too many cars, too little track. Yeah. 29. Yeah, it's already loose by the time Harvick got to him. Kind of Harvick kind of finished the job, yes. turning him around. And in the 48. That's what I was talking about. That low groove. It's hard to run down there and not spin on it. Jimmy, where do I go? Oh. Man, that was close. I guess that other, the other two just got caught up slowing down. Vickers and Hamlin. He just, yeah, 22 cars just got loose. And right about there, Jimmy Johnson thinks his championship chances might be gone. Got lucky. He just got loose by himself. Car got sideways, broke away from him when he was hard on the throttle. And just touched the right rear fender or quarter panel as he came off the. Scott, there's Scott up on the high side, and he's just going to lose the car. You know, you carry so much speed on these mile and a half racetracks, and it just doesn't take much for your car to get sideways. And the worst part about it is if your car is loose getting into. He tries a little bit harder, but there's nothing he can do with that flat tire. And there we see the tire blow just before he spun. The outside tire lost the air. And we heard him say, I don't know what okay. this car is doing. Well, like I said, I mean, he knew something was wrong with that race car. Blue tire. 